Orange County. Automated advisory. Wind 060 at read. Altimeter. Read 014. For runway. Pilot discretion. Hey folks, welcome back to my channel. And we are, like always, at Orange County Airport in Montgomery, New York. And Christmas Eve, not much going on right now. Uh, so what I decided to do is, beautiful, beautiful night uh, right now. It's uh, almost four o'clock. It's 43 degrees out. So I think, you know, I'm gonna head over to the airport before all the fun happens tomorrow and whatnot and uh, get out of my system. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I moved uh, some cameras around, well one camera around really. I have a camera right here facing out towards the front of the plane. Um, so I have basically one behind my shoulder, one facing out, one facing me, and two underneath. I might take one away from underneath because it is a lot more editing when you have all these cameras. Well, let's check out the weather. Four Celsius. Dew point minus zero six Celsius. Altimeter three zero one five. Remarks. Density altitude minus one thousand one hundred. Orange County Airport, Montgomery, New York. Automated weather observation two zero five two Zulu. Wind zero seven zero at zero eight. Visibility one zero. Sky condition clear. Temperature zero four Celsius. Dew point minus zero six Celsius. Altimeter three zero one five. Remarks. Density altitude. Okay, so zero seven. I believe the center zero eight zero seven. So we're going to use four for departure. And we're going to over to Columbia County. Um, figure nice flight over the Hudson River. Um, and it should it should see some snow on the ground and some in the the mountain terrain areas. Maybe maybe not. We have the fourth flight on. I have the landing light is on. We're taxiing uh, down the runway or taxiway on Alpha. That the fuel is on the fullest tank already. Um, and we're gonna, well, I filled up at Orange County here when I got those puppies. Uh, they're all adopted within less than a week, basically. Over 2,000 uh, likes and uh, stuff on pilot, the pilot all page on Facebook, and a bunch on mine, and some local uh, news outlets picked it up and put it on their Facebook page. It worked out really well for the puppies, and they're all gone. Right before Christmas. That's a good thing. So right now we're going to do the handy dandy checklist is over here somewhere. What is? Let's see, where is this thing? Here it is. So we're going to do the checklist. Always do your checklist. I'll be right back, you guys. Okay, checklist is complete. We'll put that over here. Orange County Automated Advisory. Wind 060 at 5. Altimeter 3014. For runway, pilot's discretion. We're going to taxi, full mitchers in, laying light is on, strobes are now on, and fuel pumps on. We're going to 1 Bravo 1 as the identifier at Columbia Count County. And Orange County traffic, uh, moving to number 688, send a member taking the active 4 for departure, Orange County. So we do have flaps at 15 as part of the checklist for trim for takeoff. Uh, fuel pump is on, laying lights on, strobes are on. Um, mixture is full rich, full rich, prop is full forward. we going to line up here. Got some birds at the other end, so hopefully they don't fly in front of the airplane. Uh, and we're on three and four, and three and four on the heading. All right, we're all good. 
rock and roll. All right, full power is in. We got fuel, full fuel. All right. Rotate. Gear up. And the birds are staying low. Thank you. Okay, we're all in the green. Five over, flaps up. To the northwest, uh, inbound from landing. It's Orange County. Traffic, uh, Mooney, 8th of November, departure and pattern to the northeast, climb to 1,000. See you later. Okay. Nice climb out. We're on the green, looking good. Plenty of fuel. Engine's running perfectly. 1,000 feet over. Just Dial that power back a little bit, 25, 25. Manifold pressure, 25. RPM's coming back, 25. Okay, we've got a flight following in here. Let's check out New York, see how busy they are. Fuel pump's coming off. Flame light's coming off. Looking good. In New York, good evening. Uh, Mooney, November. 6, 8, 8, 7, November. Request. Okay, we're trying to run in here. Good evening. Good day, sir. Just a part of Orange County. Requesting flight following to Columbia County, 1 Bravo 1, climbing through 2,200 for 3,500, sir. Number 6887, remember, squawk 3303. 3303, now in the box, phrase in November. Remember, we're going to contact 3 Northeast of Orange County at 2,500. The altimeter is 3016. Maintain VFR. 3016, altimeter, maintain VFR for 8th of November. Thank you. Okay. Four, zero, zero 042 heading to Columbia. It's a direct line. We're going up to 3,500. We have flight following. I have the squawk code. Sometimes when I do my run up, I hit my last squawk by accident. Um, so it's, I mean, it's not in a bad area because it's right here where my fingers are. But sometimes I hit it. Sometimes I hit VFR by accident. But the good thing is, in the last, uh, your last squawk will stay saved. Okay, climbing through 3,000. We're looking good. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in Albany approach. Because that's what I'm going to put in there. Uh, information frequency in Albany approach is 132.82. Put that in standby. Boom. Back to maps. We're good. We're loaded. Uh, going to Columbia County, there's only there's only talking to two controllers. New York on the one frequency and uh, Albany on one frequency and vice versa on the way back. Going to Eastern Pennsylvania, I talked to uh, two controllers in New York with two different channels and then one Allentown approach. But I know uh, just for a fact we're going to get Albany on that channel. But we'll anticipate that. Never know. Okay, 3,500 level off. And we'll pull this power back a little bit more. I want to fly too fast here. Let's bring it down a little bit. Make sure it's coming out a little bit. So all the snow, we've gotten a lot of snow uh, last couple weeks ago, almost a foot, and it all melted. We've gotten some rain in between, high temperatures, but well, not high, you know, 40s, 50s, and it all melted. So, if you look down below, some spots are left. 
occupy the spots that are covered from the sun. We're going to fly over to the Hudson River shortly. Not too much bouncing up here. We have a headwind. But you have the beautiful mountains to our west over here. I don't have to worry about any jumpers this time of year. <laughs> over, where is it? Over um, Resnick. I'm not Resnick. Well, Resnick and uh, Gardner. They are not doing any of that this time of year. I put Alfredo back up here. Oh, it's quiet. New York is quiet. I'm surprised uh, being uh, Christmas Eve here. That is quiet, but beautiful. Let's take some pictures, some video. We're leveled off here. This is what I'm talking about for the mountains over here. It, if it focuses here. Beautiful scenery. In upstate New York here. I'll pan around. There he is. And then off to our right here is the Hudson River is over here. And we're going to go over it on this side. And New York City is down that way. Uh, you can barely see it, some haze down there. So, and of course, everybody knows my panel here, which might be changing. And a four flight app is on. Might be changing um, on this annual. So, I'm not sure yet what's going on. Um, but, might be changing, I might be doing the, uh, the whole thing over. So we will see, and uh, I'll do an update with that at another time. It's called the Dynine system. So looking good. Nice hilltops up there. Beautiful flying. In the spring. The leaves started coming on the trees there. That's out to our west. Um, beautiful. And then in the, in the fall, obviously you see all the the uh, leaves changing color. And that's not, another great time to fly over there. No traffic in the area at all. Uh, so that's a good thing. And I'm going to go right into probably three. We'll listen to the weather at Columbia. We're 39 nautical miles away. We're on the green here. we got plenty of fuel. Our RPMs are set. I have a, probably about 60 RPM, 60% uh, power. Uh, we have, a, it appears to be a 12 knot headwind right now. So we're doing 112 knots ground speed right now with the headwind and about 60 percent power some bumps by the ridges a beautiful little valley here the 
Silk, thank you so much for the emails, for the holiday wishes and everything. I appreciate that. Thanks for watching. Like what I'm doing? It'd be cool if you can subscribe, and Facebook's doing pretty good. I put a lot of stuff on there. Um, and that's about 11,000, uh, almost 12,000 right now followers on Facebook at Pilot Fun 101. So next year I'm hoping to do some, some stuff differently. Hopefully I might go into airports to kind of bring the cameras inside and on the ground and take some more video of uh, stuff on the ground too, besides just the air. I get some requests of that. I haven't heard anything in New York since my last transaction. I wonder if they're, I wonder if they're home. I, I'm actually really surprised that there's not a lot of traffic on that channel right now. This plane's flying beautifully. This is a very, very fun, co complex airplane. Hopefully this camera comes out okay. I didn't want to stick it right where it was, so I kind of did it upside down. But now I can't get it off, and have to get it heat to it and peel it off. If I want to change it. If I want to change it. The sun is setting behind me, sort of. So hopefully we don't, we don't come back uh, facing the sun the whole way. Hopefully that'll be down over the ridge line there. This is really cool. If you folks are on the fence of uh, joining the aviation family, uh, I suggest that you pull the trigger and uh, do it. It's beautiful. Um, there's a lot of good planes out there that want to buy something or go halves in with somebody. 50-50% partnership. There's a lot of programs out there. Flight schools are really busy. Um, right now, which is good. You can do a little at a time, so you're not spending a lot of money. Uh, get your ground schooling out of the way, you know, King School's there, that's, I think it's 400 maybe plus dollars-ish in that ballpark. You get your whole ground schooling done, and they guarantee you pass the FAA written exam. to do because when you do with your hands on with an a flight with a flight instructor and uh, if you're renting the plane or using fuel their fuel it can, that, that's the expensive part the non-expensive part is your ground schooling right, let's see if I can get one more some pictures of this part of the mountains over here looking good everything's good Pay attention here. That's hard to see because the sun is now beating on it, but uh, not really coming out that good there. Hudson River is off to our right. 
past the Hudson River right below. And then behind us. And that takes you all the way down to New York City. Then we have Kingston. Right over here is Kingston. So look at that perfect view there. And the Hudson River right in front of us. That's Kingston. And we're heading right to Columbia County, direct. So we are not too far away. We're about 20 miles away. 687 November, contact Albany, 132.82. Good day. 32.82, Fraser and Merry Christmas today. All right, let's switch over to Albany. I got it right. And Albany, good evening. Uh, Mooney, 8th of November is with you. 3.5, going to 1 Bravo 1. November 6887 November, Albany approach, Albany altimeter 3020. 3020, altimeter 8th of November. All right. Everything's looking good, 26 vertical miles away. Yeah, so technology, folks, is very pretty cool. Um, and Fort Flight keeps adding stuff to their apps for updates. Um, so it's been pretty good. Say again? Uh, Sirius SR 22489 or Charlie Delta, uh, just south of Bennington, 8500. Flight flight following into Linda, please. And what's your request at altitude? Uh, we're going to level off there 8,500. And underneath the skies is the Hudson River. Some spots that are frozen. Most of it kind of melted. And you have the Kingston Ulster Airport. Uh, 20 Nancy. Um, November, Nancy. November 9, Charlie Delta, squad um, 3575. But that approach three, five, seven, five, seven, is Delta. pretty different, I gotta tell you. Um, you have to go over the bridge um, and get on, I forget what runway that is. I'm gonna look at it right now, let's see here. If I can find it. So that would be one five. Actually three three would be the runway that goes over the bridge. And I'm gonna try to get a picture get a video of it right here for you, if I could do it quickly, and I'll show you. So there's a runway. Three three. So you get over to over the bridge there, and then you land. And it's a pretty short runway. Um, I believe, let's see here, it is uh, the length of the runway, 3100. Uh, but, you know, you really got to be on the numbers there using that runway. That's pretty cool, though. It's fun. It's a fun approach. And some frozen spots, of course. Hudson River. Yeah, so I was just saying, like I always mention this in a lot of my videos, that technology is great for G GA pilots, finally, at a, at a very reasonable price. Um, and, you know, you have a backup, backup, and then, of course, my phone also uh, has four flight on it. Um, so if, that, if, if all fails, I have four flight on my phone. And, of course, as a backup, backup to the backup, I have my paper charts. I kind of fold to where I'm going, um, but this is having the having this technology in the Fourflight app. Um, and really, there's a lot of apps out there, but I, I really like Fourflight. Um, this per personal reference, I guess, preference. Um, but it's good. It has everything's right here. You don't gotta have all the charts. So if you do a lot of traveling across uh, countries and you're going pretty far out, Albany Control one two three. Instead of call. having you know multiple of these. Albany Control Albany Approach Albany Altimeter you know, zero two zero say altitude. To draw a line, altitude is seven thousand. And then draw a line if you have if you need two of these to be going somewhere pretty far. To draw a line, you know, on two of these to find out where you're going, and wind corrections and so on and so forth. Um, 
You know, it takes forever. It's a good thing to have this stuff, but this is so much easier and better and safer with traffic. And God forbid you're in an emergency situation and you're at nighttime, uh, you're in an unfamiliar area, uh, you know, trying to pull this out and try to find your nearest airport and do your calculations with, with you know, tr trying to qu cross two VORs to find out your location, then trying to figure out your location to the nearest airport, and then trying to figure out your glide and where you're at, and trying to do all this as you're trying to maintain visual and trying to maintain flight controls and, uh, and your glide speed and everything else. This puts, I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but this puts a little circle around. Where does, you know, once you put all the stuff in from your POH in the airplane or any updates you do on the updated POH, on the paper you're supposed to have with you at all times, uh, you put that information in and, and a fourth flight automatically gives you a ring around where you could possibly land. And right now I can make two airports without pulling out papers and trying to cross-reference VORs to try to figure out where exactly where I'm at, because I know where I'm at. Um, and you just know where you're at with paper, you follow along and try to figure out, you know, your your stuff on the ground, your, your points on the ground. But again, once you, if you have all that extra stress of an engine issue or something going on, that's all you need is more stress trying to figure out where the hell you are um, because it's your life, and passenger's life, and people on the ground's life that's in your hands at that particular moment. So it's very easy to have these apps. Um, even portable GPS's and all that fun stuff. Cherokee 7788 November. Okay. Cherokee 7788 November, how many birds? Cherokee 7788 November is approximately 10 miles west of uh, Columbia County Airport with like flight following to Schenectady at 3,500. November, 88 November, squawk 4364. 4364, 88 November. In Albany, uh, Mooney 8, 7 November, request my D-Send my destination. November 8, 7 November, VFR, altitude to your discretion, radar service is terminated, squawk VFR, change to advisory frequency approved, have a good day. Okay, frequency approved, squawking VFR, D-Send my discretion, Merry Christmas, good day. Merry Christmas. Okay, that's done. November 8, 8 November, radar contact. Let's go to information frequency, frequency. let's go to Unicom active, and we'll keep Albany approaching the standby for, for the... Actually, you know what? I need to get the weather. So the weather is, should be, uh, 33525. Five. Seven, visibility, one, zero, clear, below, one, two, thousand, temperature, three, Celsius, dew point, minus five, altimeter, three, zero, two, zero, remark, lightning, information not available. Lane lights coming on. Columbia County Airport. Automated weather observation. Two, one, two, zero. Zulu weather. Wind three, six, zero at seven. Visibility one, zero. Clear below one, two, thousand. Temperature three Celsius. Dew point minus five. Altimeter three, zero, two, zero. Remark. Lightning information not available. One more time, just so I have it right. Okay, so everything's in the green. Columbia County Airport. Automated weather observation. Two, one, two, one. Zulu weather. Wind three, six, zero at seven. Visibility one, zero. Clear below one. All right, two, so you could use four. Temperature three Celsius. Dew point minus. And Columbia County traffic. I made a pattern at Columbia County. Security traffic, my Star 3 helicopter is uh, 5 to the southwest, 2,300 uh, north, northeast south of the field. Uh, There's some more snow up here, more north. Hey, Columbia County traffic, uh, Mini 8 November, 10.5 miles out uh, to the southwest, be inbound for 3, Columbia County. Okay, looking good. Let me see what the information. 1100. Oops. 1100 is the uh, traffic pattern. A little slowly get down. We're about 10 miles. And I want to go straight in for four, uh, three. They have three. And two, one here. 
At the airport's in sight. We're not in flat speed. So, looking at gas. Gas is on the fullest tank. And... Undercarriage not yet. We are not in speed yet. So, it's another thousand RPMs here. Or hundred. At the airport and lost it. At Laverna's the airport. I had it. Lost it. Huh. Okay, we are seven miles out. Power back a little more. Alright, airport's in sight now. Now I got it. All right, let's get down to six and a half miles out. Let's get the gear speed, so gas on the fullest. Fuel pump is on. We're gonna put the gear is coming down. Gas under carriage. Lock it in. Make sure that's locked in, and it is. Mixtures coming in full rich. And prop getting there. We're gonna get there. Airport's in sight. And we're good for the flaps for now. Gears down. Hey, Columbia County traffic. Uh, Mooney is the numbers on a six mile final for three. Anybody's in a pattern, please survive. So, Orange, Columbia County. Okay, I'm going to keep an eye out just in case anybody's flying around, not using a radio. And uh, airport's in sight, runway's in sight. Power still in. More snow up here, folks. So we are on a four and a half mile final, runway is in sight, hopefully it's not iced over. So we are going to, the temperature outside is what up here, 39 degrees above freezing. I see blacktop. So it be easy on the brakes, but to get nice and slow. Columbia County traffic, uh, Mooney is four miles on the final for three, 1,100, Columbia County. So we're in pattern altitude, we're three and a half now out, we're lined up with the runway, we have the gear is down, mixture is full rich, prop now can come in full forward, that looks good, and we're going to do one notch, I say notch, but we'll do two, three, no three mile final, four flight is saying. The gas is on, full tank, fuel pump's on, the gear is locked. Always make sure that is locked on the Johnson bar. We have the mixtures full rich, we have the props in full forward, we have two notches of flaps. Uh, we're looking good at 110 miles an hour, and we'll get slower as we get there. No traffic. And Columbia County traffic, uh, but he's two and a half miles out on a final 4-3, Columbia. Okay. Nobody's home, it sounds like. The one person just left Columbia County, if you heard before, uh, got flight following with uh, Albany, which is right up there. Okay, so let's get down, more trim, and let's do more flaps. We'll go full flaps now. Full flaps are in, I'm going to watch our speed. 
Gas is on on the fullest tank as well. Mixtures rich, props full forward. We have full flaps. We're going to watch our speed now. We're going to trim. We're at 100 miles an hour, and we are two miles out. In Columbia County traffic, uh, Mooney is on a two-mile final for three, full stop, Columbia County. Runway looks nice and clear, no snow. There should be no ice, but we never know. We are looking good. Car Pete is also out. Gas. Undercarriage. Light is on, it's locked. Green light. Mixture is full rich, prop is full forward. We have full flaps, I got my seatbelt on. And we're gonna slowly pull the power back. We're looking good. And we're at 95 miles an hour, or one and a half. Hey, Columbia County traffic, uh, moving to short final three, full stop, Columbia County. Looking good. We're at 90. We're at 80. Come on, help me out with a little type of trim. Little squirrely. That's okay. We're at 80 still. Pull the power back a little more. 75. We'll keep the power in just a little bit more. We've got a little bit of a crosswind components going on here. As you can see, a little squirrely. We're at 70. Power still in a little bit. And now we're at idle. And it's going to hold it off here. Gear light one more time. It's green. It's down. Not bad, not bad. And it's not icy. There you go. Not a bad lane. I flared a little high there. So, fuel pump's coming off. We're going to put the mixtures full rich. Oh, sorry. Um, carpet's in. Blaps are up. Pull that mixture out a little bit. Hey, Columbia County traffic. I'm going to clear. Three. Columbia County. So I flared a little high there, came in, I got some winds underneath me, so I was kind of floating. I flared a little bit too high, but it wasn't a bang. It was not that much of an aggressive as a hit, like I almost thought it was going to be. <laughs> so not bad, I'll take it. Um, but everything was a good flight. Go to Columbia County, one Bravo one. Uh, I'm going to fill up, um, get some fuel and fill up here. It's about 85 cents cheaper in Orange County, but I wanted to kind of fly up here tonight. Just a quick, nice, long cross country. It's just a cross country flight, anything over 15 nautical miles. And uh, had that in my book there. And um, got a nice view. So pretty good flight. Hopefully this camera worked here. Don't know how that's gonna come out. I'll check it out when I edit it later. And then if I have to move it, I'll move it. We'll see. All right, folks, like always, if you like what I'm doing, please subscribe. I appreciate it to my channel. And I'm on Facebook. Also, you can find me on there. I do some stuff. And uh, also, any questions you have about anything, if I don't know the answer, I'll try to find it for you, uh, especially Mooney answers, uh, licenses answers, and stuff of that nature, you can email me, pilotfun101 at gmail.com. And I'm going to get gas here, and it is... 85 cents a gallon less. So if you have low fuel and you have a big plane, fill it up here. You'll save yourself tons of money. All right, folks, like always, fly safe, be safe. Merry Christmas to your, to your friends and families. Until next time, see ya.